So finally, iOS 26 is now available to the public, to everyone who is using from iPhone 11 to the recently released iPhone 17. So from the SX Max and below, that is the end of the road when it comes to software updates. But like I said, if you're using from iPhone 11 and above, here are 10 things you need to change right now that will just make you really enjoy iOS 26 and all the massive updates that it's come with. The first one is home screen customization. Now, if you tap and hold on your home screen, then select edit at the top left, then select customize. Now you're going to see a new addition below called clear. And once you tap on it, it's going to change your screen to this clear that looks like frosted glass effect, which Apple is calling liquid glass, which is like the hallmark of iOS 26. Now, right on that edge, you're going to see three options, light, dark, and auto. I would advise you select auto because that means during the day, it's going to be light. At night, it's going to be dark. So yeah. Also, if you go to your lock screen along, press on it, then tap on customize under, you can now drag the clock icon down to make it larger. Maybe Apple just thinks we need to be more time conscious. I don't know, but that is a new customization that comes with iOS 26. The second one, once you have turned on liquid glass on your iPhone, if you swipe down your control center, you're still going to see a bit of reflection of your home screen under it. Now that may affect eligibility for some of us. So for you to rectify that, just go to settings, then look for accessibility, then look for display and test size. Now, once you open it, just turn on reduce transparency. And just like that, you notice that these areas under the control center is now more solid and easier to read. But I will always advise that before you do that, why not just turn on contrast and see if it's better off than how it is normally. Now let's go to number theory. You know that awkward moment where you are listening to music with your AirPod Max and then you enter your car and the music just switches to your car? I mean, what if you are listening to a very confidential voice note and there are people in the car? That could be very embarrassing. Well, there is now a new setting that can stop that from happening. So just go to settings on your iPhone, look for general, then tap on it and open AirPlay and continuity. Then you're going to find this new setting called keep audio with headphones. Just toggle it on and save yourself the whole trouble and embarrassment. Now let's talk about number four. You also know that annoying moment where you are trying to take a screenshot or when you take a screenshot and the thing just shrinks to the bottom left of your iPhone and then you have to tap on it so that you can crop it or do whatever you want to do with it before you save it. Well, you don't have to do all of that. When you go to settings now, then general, you will now see screen capture. Now at the top of it, you're going to see a new setting called full screen review. Now once you turn it on, whenever you take a screenshot, you're going to see it on the full screen. While you are still there, you know, for the ladies who like to take screenshots a lot of Ankara bags, shoes, jewelry, just name it. But you observe that most times when you take a screenshot, the color tend to be a bit different from what the actual color is. Well, just go right down a bit. You're going to see format. Just change it from SDR, which is what it is by default to hd arrow this will now make sure your screenshot comes with all the sharp vibrant true colors now let's go to number five if you are tired of those op and dstv calls that usually come in every maybe when you are like seriously busy with work then these new settings is going to help screen all those annoying calls away so just go to settings on your iphone scroll down until you see apps then tap on it and look for phone now, once you open it and scroll, you're going to see screen unknown calls. Now, there used to be only one setting there to just turn it on, but now we have like three settings. I would advise you click on the setting that says ask reason for calling. Now, once you choose that option, whenever any unknown number calls you or that is not in your contact list, your iPhone is going to ask the person the name, you know, and why they are calling. You know, and when they respond, you're going to see it on your screen. And once you see OP or DSTV or whatever it is, you don't have to pick the calls. You can just cut it. Also, number six, there is this new settings in iOS 26. It's going to be for those of you who always like to forget cleaning your lens, you know, before you take that picture or make that video. Now, all you need to do now is go to your settings on your iPhone, then look for camera, then scroll all the way down until you see lens cleaning hints. 
just turn it on. And henceforth, whenever your iPhone detects that your lens is dirty, it's going to prompt you to please clear it so that you can stop disgracing us, making your videos look like it was made with Android phones. I come in peace, really. Now let's go to number seven. Yeah. If you go to your camera app now, you might be a bit confused because all you're going to see on that is just photo and video. Like, you might be wondering where are all the icons and everything. Well, now for you to assess them, just slide to the left or the right at the down part where the photo and video, you know, icons appear and you're going to see all the other different um, functions of your cameras. At the top left and right, you're also going to see very minimal test. Now just tap on it for you to see every other camera settings like resolution, frame rate, and all of that. Now for number eight, I know Samsung users are going to really have a field day with this one. They will laugh at us, but I'm just gonna say it anyway. So now with iOS 26, your iPhone can now tell you how long it will take your iPhone battery to get filled up, yeah. But if you go to your battery settings inside the settings of your iPhone, you can now see both how long it will take your iPhone to charge to 80% and how long it will take to charge to 100%. Samsung does not give you that much data or information. So yeah, Apple always does it a bit better. Now let's talk about number nine. There is a new preview app that is in your iPhone once you update to iOS 26. It is used to create documents or to scan them. So you don't have to use your camera app if you want to scan a document. You know, it's long journey. So just use the preview app. And then finally, number 10. You can now clean up your call logs with this new iOS 26. You know how you go to your call log and you just see calls from everybody, unsaved numbers, contacts, the ones from, um, just name it, different places, all just clogged and untidy. Well, you can just fit all of them and just keep it clean. Now to do that, just tap on the menu icon at the top right of the call window, then tap on manage filtering. After which you will be taken to the settings where you will then be prompted to turn on unknown callers under call filtering. Now, once that is done, you're going to see that all the unknown calls from random numbers, unsaved numbers, all of that will now be kept in a separate folder that is tagged unknown caller. Those are my top 10 iOS 26 features that you really need to, you know, change. Settings that you really need to change so that your iPhone just feels brand new and different from what it is before. There is so much more if you're using iPhone 15, 16, and of course it's 17, but for these ones, I think it's for every iPhone from the 11 up to 17. Tell me thank you in the comment section below and I'll catch you in the next one.